Since we're not allowed to work and go out of our homes, we all had to record a new video for you. And through this video, to say goodbye to you all and ask you to keep us in your prayers. This was Najma Sadiqi's goodbye video to thousands of her followers. A goodbye to the only way of life this 20-year-old Afghan YouTube star has ever known. For Najma's generation of Afghan women, life under the Taliban was a story of the past. Just days before the fall of her city, Najma was out on the streets of Kabul. You could easily think this trio of YouTube reporters in their bright, fashionable clothes were out on the streets of another modern city like Dubai or Doha. Smiling, giggling, just having fun. <laughs> Najma was doing what she loved the most, reporting on daily life in her beloved city. Four days after the fall of Kabul, she recorded this video. Life in Kabul has become very difficult, especially for those who used to be free and happy. We are all inside our homes and we do not have the ability and courage to go outside, to go back to work, to go back to our universities. We are no longer able to record programs and to study. Despite what they are saying, that they don't have any problems with girls, that girls can seek education, go to university and go to work. But we've heard about their past. We can no longer trust them to go back to university or work with the kind of courage we used to have. Najma was studying to become a journalist. In her final year at a Kabul Journalism Institute, she joined the Afghan Insider YouTube channel, a job she clearly loved, but it was more than just that. Most of the families in the city are just waiting for one meal a day to survive now. I was working to make enough to pay for my daily expenses and for my education. Like me, there were other girls who were the breadwinners of their entire families. They were the ones who didn't have an older brother or father to provide for them. But now, they're at home, waiting for the situation to get better. Dear friend, I don't have the ability to talk any longer and I can't say any more. Just pray for us. Pray for us that we don't go too far away from our hopes and dreams and we can become the girls we were before. That we can be happy again, wear the clothes we loved again. But as her world collapsed, she had to get out before it was too late. In desperation, Najma, her brother and cousin joined thousands of others at the Kabul airport trying to escape a life without much hope. They never made it out. The three were among the more than 170 lives lost in Thursday's murderous attack. The haunting words in her goodbye video, now more than just a farewell to freedom. I wish it is a bad dream. I wish we can wake up one day where someone wakes up saying, drink a glass of water, you had a bad dream. But I know that it is not possible. <laughs> and it is a reality that we are finished. <laughs>